Hi, in this short video I want to discuss a number of arguments regarding why to learn music theory, at least to an extent. These are arguments I haven't really come across during other videos or articles or other readings, but I think they're of pivotal importance to understand why to learn music theory, at least to an extent. First of all, knowing music theory gives you a very broad historical overview of what happened in music in the past. Knowing this, you know who came before you as a composer, as a musician, what they did and what the impact of their music and their techniques was on music today. History in that case can not only be uh, material for reference, uh, and material for certain techniques and certain compositional aspects, but also can uh, be a source of inspiration, a source of creativity for your own work and your own musical repertoire. This source of creativity can go many ways. You can use certain techniques that have been used, whether it's serial technique, twelve-tone technique, whether it's allegoric musical technique, chance music, for example, whether it's a certain playing technique, like the way music was played in the Baroque times or the classical period, etc, etc. So you can really take ideas from the past and use them for your own repertoire. And talking about repertoire, there's a lot of musical repertoire that already exists that you can only really access if you have some knowledge of music theory. This is mostly in the form of musical scores and music analysis books. Music scores can only be read if you know how to read music and you know how to read music if you know music theory. And there's a huge repertoire from many hundreds of years ago, whether it's the old Gregorian chants or whether it's Mozart or whether it's 20th century composers that use serialism. All of that is written down in sheet music, in scores. In the exact same with musical analysis books. You will only get a deeper understanding of those if you know what the terms mean. So there's this huge repertoire of music that you can use, that you can read. And next to that, musicians know how to read and talk music. If you want to communicate with a musician, whether it's a composer, whether it's an instrumentalist or a conductor, a musical analyst, you need to know the terms. You need to understand the scales, you need to understand the notes, you need to understand the definitions that are being used with those terms. If you don't understand what it means to play pianissimo or uh, what it means to play crescendo in a certain context, you will lose a lot of information and you will not be able to understand what they are saying. You will not be able to express what you want to say. Because simply for the fact, there is a lot of musicians that do know some music theory and they use that music theory as a language to express themselves. If you know how to write music down, if you can express yourself musically in these kind of terms, musical theoretical terms, you will be able to write music, give it to the musicians, to explain to them what you want simply by using certain definitions and you will be able to let them play your piece. The same if you're playing together with other musicians you'll be able to play together and you will understand what's going on. You will also start to understand how composers thought in the past and how composers still think. You can start to understand how certain motifs work really well or how certain themes are being used over and over again. What is sonata form, for example? Why is it so valuable? Why does it work so well? These kind of things are very important if you want to understand and create music yourself. You'll get a very broad vocabulary that you can use yourself in your own musical uh, creation. Certain things like a 2-5-1 progression in jazz, for example, so progressions are being used all the time, or a plagal or authentic cadence in a lot of classical music. These kind of things are being used constantly, and you might have heard them before, you probably did, but you didn't give them a name. And because you didn't give them a name, you don't really remember them and you do not really recognize them anymore when you hear them. If you know music theory and you study this kind of material, you understand them, these motifs, these themes, these progressions, 
these maybe there's melodies, these occurring melodies that reoccur all the time, and you'll be able to use them yourself. And then we get to maybe the most important aspect, the most important argument on why to learn music theory, and that is because you can develop your ear, and that is of crucial importance if you want to grow as a musician. Developing your ear is extremely important if you want to play together with other musicians, if you want to be able to, re to basically play music from the spot, if you hear something that you can immediately pick it up and replay it by ear, a certain song, and you will be able to play it on your instrument from nothing, just from listening. That is what they often call in French solfège or in Italian solfeggio, and you can also call it ear training. And you can start to recognize intervals, chords, progressions, melodies. You'll be able to write music down just on a piece of paper with a pencil that you hear any melody. doesn't matter what. You'll be able to write it down. And it will be of vital importance if you want to play improvised music as well. If you're improvising, you need to know what's going on. You need to hear it on the spot and immediately anticipate in the moment. So if you want to become a better musician, using and making use of ear training is of vital importance and maybe it sounds like wizardry and some kind of magic and well maybe it is so what do you think are there any other great arguments to give regarding music theory and why we should learn it what is your opinion about this topic Myself, I would really like to make more videos, videos similar to this one regarding music theory, composition, maybe even analysis. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this video and put your thoughts in the comments. See you around.